Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and this is your Cardio Golf 1000 Practice Swing Challenge. The challenge is simple. We're doing 1,000 practice swings over the course of a month. That's 30 practice swings a day for 30 days, so you can do it. What we do first is a little warm up to get those muscles prepared so that you can take your muscles through full range of motion so that you won't have any swing compensations. And then we do three sets of 10 practice swings. I usually break it up and do a couple of different swing drills to help your swing technique. So grab your shorty practice training club and your cardio golf slope available at cardiogolf.com and let's get started. So the warm-up exercises I do are dynamic to get your heart rate going. So just go ahead and step up and down on your slope. I'm holding the shorty practice training club because I'm going to use this in the next warm-up exercise. So the idea here is just to get your heart rate elevated so that oxygen and blood starts flowing through your muscles and your joints so that you can take them through full range of motion. You can see that this will get my heart rate going. So I get a little out of breath, which is good. That means this is working. So what you want to do is, if you start with your dominant foot, I'm right-handed, so my dominant foot was my right foot. So I'm just going to switch and go with my non-dominant foot just to switch it up a little bit, make me think a little bit, help me with my coordination, and like I said, get that heart rate going. So be careful. Just step on the slope up and down. The slope is a fitness platform, but it's curved like a fairway so golfers can practice those uphill and downhill lies and you're gonna see that in a second. Great. So from here, I'm gonna hold this club out in front of me, get into a little side squat and just practice squatting. I'm gonna lower down and come back up. So a couple things here, I'm trying to drive my heels into the floor and into the slope. I'm at a little bit of an angle, so I'm working in a little bit of a different plane of motion, which is good because we don't always we aren't always on a flat surface. When we walk, we're kind of on an unstable surface, especially on the golf course. So it's good to practice things on little unstable surfaces. So do about eight on one side. You can see it's getting my heart rate going. And then we'll do eight on the other side. So reach up. If you're more advanced, you can even do an overhead squat. Get your arms up more. Just make sure that you are capable of doing that with your flexibility and core strength. So we're doing eight on this side. All right, from here, we can even do some upper body exercises with the slope. What I'm going to do is just turn it upside down like this. It's very stable, holds up to 300 pounds. And from here, depending on your strength, you can just stay here, put one hand on the edge and one hand on the other, and then just try to keep it stable and you'll really feel a nice little stretch in your upper body. From here, if you can, you can even do some push-ups. You can see I'm on my knees, I'm modifying. So do about eight to 10 push-ups like this. If you're more advanced and you have more upper body strength, you can do full bone push-ups like this. So it's very stable. You can even do a little rocking. And of course, you wanna modify depending on your core strength, your flexibility, your level of fitness. So then you can do a combination a lower down and then a little rock. So you really feel this a lower down and then a little rock. Good. So do about eight to 10 of those and then you can flip this around and now we're gonna do our practice swings. So we're using the Shorty Practice Training Club and the Cardio Golf Slope for this 30 day 1000 practice swing challenge. You can get those at cardiogolf.com. The Shorty Club is short so that you can rehearse your swing inside. You're not going to hit the ceilings or the walls. Also, the club face is closer to your hands, so it's easy to monitor that club face, especially at impact. A lot of people don't even know what the club face is doing at impact. So with that club face closer to your hands, you can actually stop and check your club face. Um, we're using the cardio golf slope. Like I said, it's a regular fitness step, but it has a golf twist. It's curved like a fairway. So us golfers can practice those uphill and downhill lies that we have on the golf course that are hard to practice because there's really never anywhere to practice those on the driving ranges. Driving ranges are usually completely flat. So it's a perfect uh, practice aid for golfers. 
So what I'm gonna do now is our 30 practice swings and I break it up in 10. So we do 10 practice swings, we rest and then do another 10 and then another 10. So, and it takes only about five minutes. It's gonna take a little longer today because I'm talking about it and showing you what to do. But if you just did five minutes, 10 minutes of something every day to help you improve your fitness, it would help your golf in the long run. I always say it's better to do five minutes of practice every day than to wait until you have like two or three hours at the end of the week to go beat balls. Usually that leads to injury and frustration. So don't do it. So just practice a little bit every day. So the first part of this um, practice swing challenge, we're just gonna do backswing exercises on an upslope. So an upslope, I'm a right-handed golfer, so my front foot would be my left foot. And then when you're on an upslope, you wanna try to angle yourself the same as the slope. So you don't wanna be in the slope like this or too far back like this. So you just wanna try to be at that same angle. From here, I'm just going to rehearse my back hand only. So I'm putting my front hand behind my elbow, and the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna to try to get my arm in a nice right angle at the top of the swing. So watch how I do this practice swing. I look down at where a ball is, I do my practice swing. If I wanna check my position, I would then turn, look at it, and then look back down at the ball. This is wrong, following what your arm is doing. So check yourself. So let's do about 10 repetitions just with that back arm only. From here, I'm going to rehearse my front arm only on a down slope. Again, when you're on a down slope, you wanna make sure you're angled the same as the slope. And what I love about the down slope is it's gonna really help us swing down and through and shift our weight. Where people go wrong on a down slope, a flat lie for that matter, is they try to help the ball up in the air and stay back. Well, now since we're on a little bit of a slope, this is gonna help us go forward. Don't fight gravity. So hold the club with your front arm only. And then from here, just put your other hand behind and you're just practicing, trying to get in a nice back swing and then go through to the finish. This club should touch you between the shoulder blades. Where people go wrong is they would bend this front arm and then try to help the ball up in the air, keep this arm straight. Well, you want it to keep it extended on the back swing, shift your weight and then it folds actually to finish. And that's where you get the speed, the little folding right here. So do about 10 practice swings doing that whole swing on the down slope. From here, go back to the upslope. This time we're going to put both hands on and get in that nice upslope position and what I love about an upslope is that when you swing back it really helps get your weight into your backside where people go wrong on a flat lie is their weight goes towards the target so this really helps you get into that position so let's finish this up and do five back swings here And now come over to the down slope and we'll do five full swings. Again, what I love about a down slope is that gravity helps you go forward instead of hanging back. So let's do five full swings. So that was 30 practice swings. It took us a few minutes. If you did that every day, it would really improve your swing technique. It would also help you because you're physically taking your muscles through full range of motion. So you're rehearsing that over and over again. And by doing those practice swings, you're rehearsing taking your muscles through full range of motion. So when you get to the golf course or go play or practice, you're used to taking your muscles through full range so it's smooth and it's a lot easier to swing. So check out the Shorty Club and the Cardio Golf Slope available at cardiogolf.com so you can do this challenge with me.